Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So I've thought a lot about this and I think I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so what I'm talking about is obviously the, the title of this video or like the thumbnail and all that, right? But first, am I going to pull for what's her face, Nora? <laughs> so the thing is, Nora, I, I kind of want to get her at R2. And the reason why I want to get her to R2 is because she instantly becomes a power creep version of R6 Hilda. Yes, R6 Hilda who just came in the previous patch. She is at R2, a more complete counter against a speed meta that Hilda is not able to do so as well. Reason for it is because she has buff strip on her Halcyon AoE attack. Now that is a big deal. And the reason for that is because the moment she's at R2, she does not need a Halcyon buff on herself, which is triggered by triple hitting with her first skill. She will no longer need her Halcyon buff in order for her to apply her Halcyon AoE attack. How her AoE attack is now further triggered is whenever she receives any kind of AP manipulation, AP down specifically. So she's instantly a really good counter against enemy comms with Ashley, enemy comms with Tia as well. So she is indeed the meta counter as per right now. Now the reason why she is so good against Speed Cleaves is because if you just drop her a Tyranny set for example, whenever she gets AP reduced, which will not happen because she's fully resistant to AP reduction, she's actually going to counter with a Halcyon AoE attack, which with the Tyranny set actually has a really good chance of landing a stun on any one of those enemy aspers. Reason being, number one, she strips buffs, which includes immunity buff, so this, she's an excellent counter against enemies with a Clara comp or enemies with just the immunity set. And furthermore, because she's able to strip the immunity buff, she can actually counter attack with that Halcyon AoE and potentially land a stun on any one of the enemies. As long as you get one stun off, that pretty much counters any speed cleave. So R2 Nora is a a really really big deal in the current speed cleave meta so it's kind of a shame that even though i want to get her to r2 i am probably not gonna do so because i only have 200 wish stones and the thing is because of the changes that is coming to the gold record banner along with the new divinates i don't think it actually makes a lot of sense for me to just summon right now in the hopes of acquiring another 100 wish stones which i can definitely do so instead i want to just save all my gold records for when the divinates actually drop in the live server so that i can get a much bigger head start with my gold records so with that said, I will not be going for Nora. Now the thing is, some of you guys have also asked me, should you be going for an R0 copy of Nora? I personally feel like she doesn't carry a lot of value at R0, or rather not on the same level as she could at R2. So if you still want to chase for R2, you want to do it via wish stickers, that kind of stuff, or maybe in the future when there is Celestial Anomaly again, and you want to get more ripple boxes or whatever you call it, right? then sure, that makes sense. I think R2 Nora is really good. But for me personally, I don't think I want to go for her just because I cannot guarantee an R2 Nora immediately. So I kind of want to hold on to my wish stones and see what's coming in the future. Maybe there are other aspects that could be a little bit more impactful for my gameplay, but maybe for the time being, I might just skip Nora. Okay, so for the rest of this video, uh, <laughs> I have quite <laughs> a few summons. So I have 33 actual summons itself plus 615 shots, which will then amount to, I think, 12 summons. So I have a total of 45 Shimmer summons, which is a lot. And of course, I'm going to try to get Tolan. So I've thought about this for quite a bit. 45 Shimmer records is really hard to come by, but I think Tolan is going to be one of those experts that is probably very worth it. Now, the reason why I feel like Tolan is worth it is because he is the fastest expert in the game and he's also a controller, which is a really good combination, right? The fastest expert plus controller with a speed lead, amazing kit. Now, where he shines in the most, in my opinion, is up against other speed cleave comps. So that's a really big reason why I think getting Tolan makes a little bit more sense for me than getting Nora because he instantly counters the speed cleave as well. He always takes the first turn. He just needs to lock one expert down and that's it. That, that, that entire speed cleave is not going to work. And he's also really good in RTA and in holo battles as well so i think i might just go for him right so yeah oh my god okay so without further ado 45 summons oh let's see what we get okay <laughs> full blues uh now i'm thinking would shimmer records actually provide divinates right would a new update to the divinate system uh change the way shimmer records work because if it does then i just completely cucked myself over here but uh it's too late i've started <laughs> Holy shit! Are you kidding me? What the freak? That was fast, dude! Wait! That was super. That was my second hand pool, dude. What the heck? <laughs> And I mean, I got Zhongnan as well, which is another resonance that I needed, right? I, 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 don't, I don't use him at all, but I don't have an R6, so yeah. Holy shit, is it Tolan? Is it Tolan? Is it Tolan? <sighs> Oh my god, 20 summons in. 
Call me a believer. I'm a dislike fan right now. <laughs> oh my god, what the shit? That's crazy, dude. Okay, so I... I'm done. I got one copy of Tolan. Do I need multiple copies of him? I am not super sure. So let's check out... <laughs> let's check out Tolan. Oh my god, this is super freaking high. Uh, let's take a look at his resonances because sh do do we need more than one copy of him? I mean, it's kind it's kind of cringe to actually go for more, more than one copy of him right now. But uh, pay in full extends all enemies ability cooldowns by one turn when Tolan falls. I see oh okay, so this is actually pretty good. But uh, I guess it's not super important for his main purpose. His main purpose is just to take the first turn, control someone, and that's it, right? So the part where he dies and then he has some extra effect, like the final whatever, right? So his final passage. All of that is kind of nice if you want to drag on the fight, but in most cases, you don't really want to drag on the fight too much. You just want to control something, get rid of everything else. I think that's generally the playstyle that I think works best for him, in my opinion. But okay, so the way that I think I would want to build him is to run him as fast as possible. I it's either running him with my fastest wind set or my fastest ocean set. So the fastest ocean set is so that he can cycle his third skill faster, uh, which would have a cooldown of 4 turns. So because he takes a lot of turns with his trackback stacks, right, which is in his passive here, so he gains up to 30 speed based on the number of trackback stacks that he has, unless he's at R6 of course. So because of the amount of speed that he has, I think the ocean set is actually really good for him so that he cycles a lot faster and he's able to control a lot more. So I'm th it's either one of these two sets, right? So I think maybe in terms of PvE, it makes a lot more sense to just run him with an ocean set. But in terms of PvP, it's either one of these two. If you have a super fast ocean set, you would still be able to outspeed most enemies so long as you also bring along an Ethan and you do not need the wind set in order to outspeed enemies. So, so I think for the time being, I might just stick to my fastest wind set and that's basically how I'm going to be him for the time being. So okay, I got super lucky in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more dislike content. Now that's it. That has been there for you to play. And as always, I will see you in the next video.